Welcome back. Last few classes we have been uh, talking about the major uh, nutrients and uh, saying that they are good sources of energy. And so, what is the role of energy in our body? Let us uh, today see what is the role of energy in our body. So, the body needs energy for maintaining the body temperature, the metabolic activity and supporting all the physical work and growth. So, let us imagine without energy, we cannot do any work. So, the energy allowances recommended are designed to provide enough energy to promote satisfactory growth in infants and children and to maintain the constant appropriate body weight and good health status in the adults. Now, factors that influence the allergy needs, they are the age, body size, our energy requirements depend upon the body size, the physical activity we carry out, the climate and altered physiological status like pregnancy and lactation. Now, role of macronutrients in providing energy, so nutrients are the environmental substances that are used for energy growth and bodily functions of the organisms. So, depending upon the nutrient, these substances are needed in small amount or larger amount depending upon what type of functions they carry out. So, those that are required in large amounts are called as macronutrients. And there are three macronutrients which are required for the human beings. We have been talking about carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. So, each of these macronutrients provides energy in the form of calories. For example, I have been repeating this carbohydrates provide 4 kilocalories per gram, proteins provide 4 kilocalories per gram and lipids provide more than two times of the calories provided by carbohydrates and proteins that is 9 kilocalories per gram. So, this means that if we look at a food label, the when you are accustomed to reading the nutrient labels, it lists 10 grams of carbohydrates, there is no protein and no fat. Then what is the amount of energy that food will provide? It is only 10 into 4 kilocalories, that is 40 kilocalories only. Whereas, if the food contains 10 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of protein and 5 grams of fat, you calculate it according to the amount of energy that is given by each food that is 10 into 4, then 5 into 4 and 5 into 9, it gives 105 kilocalories of energy. Now, carbohydrates, the human needs carbohydrates in larger amounts that is 60 to 65 percent of the total calories should be provided from the carbohydrates. So, all the staple foods that we eat are carbohydrate based and carbohydrates are easily metabolized which just means they are chemically broken and used for the body's main fuel source. And all our body tissues have the ability to use the simple carbohydrate glucose as energy. So, it does not require any other, it is a direct breakdown into glucose and utilization into the body. These carbohydrates can be simple or complex, which refer to their chemical structure. So, simple carbohydrates they taste very sweet like the fruit sugar, while complex carbohydrates they taste savory like starch in potatoes. And fiber is the indigestible form of carbohydrate. So, since human beings cannot uh, digest or break down the fiber, they pass through the digestive system and uh, they are excreted as waste products. And they take many other products which are not used by the body to eliminate them. Now, proteins we have to obtain 15 to 25 percent of the total calories in the human diet through proteins and they are used to produce new tissues for growth and repair and regulate the body functions. Enzymes are also proteins. So, they are used for digestion, protection and immunity. So, the essential hormones which regulate the body are also from the proteins. 
Finally, the proteins may be used as a source of energy when the carbohydrates are not available. So, protein is found in meats, poultry, then fish, meat substitutes, cheese, milk and nuts and legumes and in very small quantity in starchy foods and vegetables. So, that is why the vegetables and starchy foods are not the main source of proteins and the body breaks down proteins into its building blocks the amino acids. There are about 500 known amino acids 21 of which are very uh, essential for the body and uh, 9 are considered to be essential because they are not produced in the body and they have to be supplied through the food. Then proteins that contain all the 9 essential amino acids are high quality proteins and these high quality proteins tend to come from animal sources and proteins which do not contain 9 essential amino acid are considered as low quality proteins. So, these come from the plant sources. And the third source of energy is the lipids that we have to get 15 to 20 percent of the total kilo calories from the fat. So, in addition to supplying energy fats are needed to supply the fatty acids which the body needs and which it cannot make like the omega 3 or linoleic acid and uh, assist in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and uh, provide the foods with flavor and texture. So, a food which is not uh, having any fat in it is bland in I mean uh, taste and texture. So, fat provides texture to the foods and dietary fats are of three types saturated fats found in animal sources, unsaturated found in plant sources and trans fatty acids now are found in the commercially produced baked goods and wherever the fat is uh, continuously heated many times then trans fatty acids are produced. Therefore, the energy consumption is from the three sources of foods that is carbohydrates about 60 to 65 percent of the total calories, proteins 20 to 25 percent and 15 to 20 percent from the fats. Thank you.